What's going on guys and welcome back to the Satisfactory Update 6 playthrough series. Last time we left off, we finished every milestone in the game, at least currently. I don't know if there's any more after Phase 4, but Phase 4 is going to be a tough one. We need to make 10,000 different parts and they're all pretty complicated to make. But I believe, well, I hope this is the last phase I have to use the Space Elevator for. I thought that was the last phase I had to, was the last phase I had to use Space Elevator for. There might be another set of milestones, maybe like one or two more tiers after um, this last phase. I don't know, though. I really feel like it, there's not going to be. I don't think the game's gotten that far yet. Holy crap. This series has gone forever, it feels like. But I finished all the milestones of Phase 3. Finally, we got everything done all the way up to Pile of Coral Enrichment. We even got that blue, blue uh, blueprint uh, milestone that like was brand new when I started the series. So... Um, it came in in the middle of the series, but anyway, right now we're trying to focus on making plutonium, which we can use that um, nuclear waste to make the plutonium. So we can finally do some of that nuclear waste and uh, not have to worry about it backing up and ruining like 6,250 watts of power that a nuclear power plant is making. So that'll be nice. We don't have to worry about that um, getting backed up at all and losing all our power and having to do some with the waste, which you can't even throw it away. This is the only way to do anything with it. But um, anyway... Today we're going to be trying to make the plutonium that we need and I guess putting it into a nuclear power plant to make even more power. So that'll be nice. So let's go ahead and get into it guys. Hope you guys enjoy it as always. Alright, here I am guys at the first factory branch. Still the biggest and we're still adding on to it which is crazy to me because this has been around for forever. We, we came over here just to find some like iron to make I think the adaptive control units. We just came here to make the adaptive control units and yeah, and then it turned into something crazy. Now we're making epic control units, crystallic oscillators. Um, what else are we making here? I know we're making more crap than that. Um, now we're making, and we're making, I think, steel plates and crystal oscillators or something for something over there. I forgot what it was. I think the radio control units. But right now, the newest addition to the factory branch is this stuff over here that we're using to make the plutonium since we already have the nuclear generator over here we really need to do something with the waste so we're going to make some plutonium here unfortunately for every nuclear generator we make we're going to, have to do this and hopefully there's some, those resources are nearby there's the nitric acid that we're using for this get at everything it needs to make the non-fizzle uranium um, we're only able to make 33, so we're on to the next step, which is plutonium pellets. These we get put into a particle accelerator, and the particle accelerator requires me to get 50 cooling units, which I'm just going to have to buy, 10 turbo motors, and 20 um, fused modular frames. So, fortunately. You know, I thought that the cooling system's only purpose in this game was for the, um, <clears throat> was for the turbo motors, and I was mistaken. Apparently, it's also used for particle accelerators, so I might need to make some more so I don't use up all my coupons, because I don't know how many particle accelerators I'm going to be using, um, for not only this milestone, but for... Probably only need one for this. But, yeah. I think I'm making another nuclear power or yeah, nuclear power plant there as well. Train coming back. I don't think so. I think it's at the other station. These particle accelerators, they cost a lot of power to run. It says right here that they could use up to two or 1500 megawatts of power, which is a lot of power. But I thought plutonium was just going to not, wasn't going to use the waste of, I mean, I don't know how plutonium works in real life. So I just assumed that you just use a more efficient fuel for a nuclear power plant that you just make with uranium and mix it with other crap. Kind of like compact coal was. 
there might be an alternate re alternate recipe that I can use that can do that. But right now it's used for it, it, it's a way to get rid of waste and turn it into power. Hopefully it's more efficient because I'm I don't have enough waste to make these the plutonium as efficient as it could possibly be and there's no way I'm gonna get enough to do that anyway. But we need cooling units and fuse modular frames and turbo motors. I already had a fuse monster frames. No. Turbo motors. Heavy modular or fuse modular, modular frames and units. So where's the turbo motors again? Right here. And fuse modular frames are right here. What do I need? Be good. And 50 cooling units, which I'm just going to buy from the awesome shop. Unfortunately. Okay. The coupons that I have to print. Just four more. I'm going to run out of cop coupons soon. I think over time it just gets less and less efficient. The more coupons it makes. It has to, there's no fucking way. It doesn't. Alright, I got everything I need right now. Time to make the particle cylindrita. Put the train back. But yeah, I'm glad that there's an actual way to use the nuclear waste. I thought I used nuclear waste for like something completely different. I thought I used it to craft items. Like the nuclear pasta. I thought, but nuclear pasta is probably something completely different. I might need uranium for, but I know... I mean, there's two normal uranium deposits here and here, so... I need, might make another factory branch around these like a train station or something and into the hub but like over here somewhere as long as it's on top of that plateau we can easily make it to the hub if, the bo if it's on the bottom of the plateau it might be a little bit trickier to do to do that we could even like not even do that we could, if, since it's this is so close just send the conveyor belts down if we can in this course area and we can just take the cave straight to the straight to the hub like there's a cave like right here that goes straight to this course so the train station's down there, we can just move it from there to the hub if we ever need more uranium, which I'm sure we will. Just kind of thinking ahead. But really, we're just focused on making this plutonium so our nuclear waste doesn't get backed up and cause problems in the future. How does overflow go into a awesome sink? Okay, particle accelerator, where should I put it? I really don't want it to be in the fucking water. I can make it across and just run a conveyor belt over. Turn or flip it around and make it up there somewhere. I just want to have it near water because nuclear power plants require water. And lots of it. I might just make it over there across the way.
Uh, the problem going up there is that it's uphill, so I'll use pumps. Oh, here's fine. So we need 25 uranium waste. So we're going to have to split that accordingly. And 100 per minute non fizzle. Yeah, we're not going to be making nearly that much. I think just straight up, we're not. We're doing. Not going to be making that much, fortunately, but. As long as we're using up all the waste, I'm happy. I don't really care about the petroleum stuff being as efficient as it can be. Even if we're burning more, more power than we're using, I mean, I think I still think it's worth it in the long run. Okay. Now we must stretch two conveyor belts. I can't remember how much I sorry, I forgot how much I said it needed. We're definitely not making a hundred of this. We're getting 33 of it. And that's using all the nuclear waste we have. Exit. All right, there. Forgot to get iron plates, so I was at the hub. That was kind of dumb of me. I knew I was low on them. Didn't grab any. I'm not paying coupons for fucking iron plates. Can I see a drone flying from here? No. We have, there it is right there. You can barely see that thing. Barely see it in the distance. Uh, iron plates over here. Doesn't even recharge from the last time I grabbed them. We need to somehow get 25 uranium waste, or at least like half of it. This isn't even radioactive for some reason. How much is this making? 25. I guess we'll just split it. 12 and a half for each. Up 
Poor freaking worker, man. Made so much uranium. Radioactive reactivity. This guy's 100 percent getting cancer. I was hoping I could do it right there, but I guess I'll do it here. We'll do it at the very end so it's getting the maximum amount that I can get, but. That might cause problems in the future, to be honest. So, this will be about. Yeah. Yeah. Are they getting enough non fills of uranium, though? I think it's. Well, no, it's not gonna get one regardless. Well, then why don't I just give this one less? Since it needs more non fizzle uranium. What's the problem here? Why is it not making any more? Got everything it needs. Oh, it's because it's filled full of water. What to do with this water, to be honest. Yes. I'm just gonna limit this. I think it needs like 30. I'm just gonna limit it by like to 25. Thank God for underclocking and overclocking as well. This is so much better. Hoping it won't need. Do something like do this at like twenty. Okay, and this like five. So it's getting enough at least. Makes it need 20 pellets or 20 non fizzle uranium. How much is it making now?
Maybe just a little bit more. I guess seven. Let's see what that does. Seven is twenty-eight. I'm sorry about this guy. I just want to make sure it's like efficient. How much is producing? Hmm. Seven will give me twenty-eight. Six point two five. This is giving me twenty five. Six point two five. Give me twenty five. Perfect. Okay. Are we out? Perfect. We're making about seven and a half. Plutonium pellets or plutonium pellets. We need to make a case plutonium pellet, which requires assembler, and we need to make um, we need concrete for it. I can get out of the damn uranium. concrete where is the nearest concrete from my location right up here I don't know if that's being used all or not I'd say it probably is Let's go over and grab this one only use 15 let me check let me check, let me check. being used up. Alright, let's sort of hit on top of I think I see it right there. I'm ready to grab that limestone up there. Turn it into concrete. Send it down to that. I'm like petroleum pellets. I don't know where I'm going to put the nuclear power plant. Maybe up here somewhere. I mean, at least like have a constant power. I hope it's not like, below the minimum. I don't think it will be. I just need it to where it's like constantly generating power. You know what I mean? So it's not like useless. Because if you're not, if the fuel source is not getting enough fuel where it's constantly going off and going back on, I might as well be fucking empty. Like most of these coal generators, I've been placed down for the new for the waste of the refineries. That's fine because I really just want to get rid of the waste so it doesn't get backed up. But. Okay. Three right now. 
wasn't much of a hassle. I don't know if I'll ever make, well, I probably will make a Mark Mark III. Might at some point, just not, just not right now. I'm just stretching it down this conveyor belt. I'm placing down a constructor somewhere over in this area. I saw something down this conveyor belt. Too long. On the feet. structures here unfortunately but Okay, we got 15 concrete. I'll make 3.75 plutonium cells. Case plutonium cells. Oh. Last but not least, plutonium fuel rods. Oh, so we're going to run into some problems. Because I need heat sinks. And to make a heat sink, I need. Let me get out of this area so I don't freaking lose filters for no reason. So, this all needs to go into a manufacturer. I need steel beams. Won't be hard to get, really. Electromagnetic fuel rods. Also won't be too hard to get either. Heat sinks. Which is going to be the big problem. And obviously I already have the case between them, so. Um, where should I put said manufacturer? This right here. Let's 
seven and a half. Yeah, it's not getting that much. It's gonna be getting three point seven five. So we need 2.25 steel beams, easy, 0.75 per minute. I don't know how much that will get me in terms of power, but it's how much I'm making with all this, 1.25 plutonium fuel rods per minute. My power isn't doing. I'm just gonna go to the hub and grab some shit. But I need those drill rods, steel beams. Everything will be easy, but I need to probably stretch a long ass conveyor belt to get some bauxite. Because there's no bauxite anywhere near here. Though I will have enough quartz for the silica I need. That's one good thing. Even if I even need. So extra silica because I'm not going to need a lot of heat sinks. The train just leave or is it about to come in? It's about to come in. Yeah, here it comes. Stop the train! Ah. Oh, that's gonna be the hard part of this all is getting the heat sinks made for the fuel cell. any aluminum and last time I checked there wasn't any aluminum nearby or bauxite nearby I think the closest one is this which that's like far as fuck away But nothing I can't handle. I might use make all aluminum stuff there and just stretch it instead of making it there. But I don't know if that'll actually work. Yeah, I don't think I should do that. Actually, I think I should just bring the raw box side over because I need to get the. I need to get quartz for silica, I'm pretty sure. That looks so weird. grab like iron plates and crap. I guess we'll start with doing the hardest part of this, which is getting the bauxite to the first factory branch. To my knowledge, the closest one to the factory branch is going to be this deposit right here, which is probably a good two and a half kilometers away, unfortunately. So we're going to stretch this all the way to the factory branch, or we'll then turn into heat sinks, and uh, yeah.
But the reason I don't want to build the heat sinks here is because I need quartz and to get... Well, I might not need quartz, honestly, though. But I'm going to stretch it anyway, just because I do need quartz. Because if I do need quartz, I'll have to get it from here. And that's going to be a bitch because that's not on the plateau. Um, so I think I'm just going to stretch this all the way through here. And then, yeah, you get to eat the picture. We got everything I need for a minor mark too, it's good. But I don't think I'll have enough resources right now on me that will be able to do this in one go. This is my inventory. I got some extra resources. Oh well. Up we go. Near the uh, oil thingy. I guess I could technically, if I wanted to bring quartz up there, is bring up that, but uh, eh, eh. All right, just stretch it there, and then use the quartz that's already there. Just in case I need silica, I might not even need silica at all because I'm not going to be. Unless I want to make more aluminum stuff at the factory branch, which could be possible. Now that box hide there. And quartz. And water. And coal. We have a whole pure deposit of coal that we haven't even touched yet. I was thinking about saving for power, but I probably won't. Nuclear power is pretty much my focus right now. I'm just slow over. Alright, should be up here somewhere. Bauxite. Can't remember exactly where it was. Right over here. There's a little power slug right here. Don't mind if I do. Oh my. Stay away from me, hog. I hear you over there. Plotting. Fucking bamboo forest in here, man. Right over here. I already know I'm gonna fight a shit ton of enemies and I've already loaded the gun. Get out of my way! for me. Bro, focus on who's attacking you. Oh! Got it. I'm trying to stretch this conveyor belt all the way home. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough steel beams for this. One or two. 
It is radio tower and connects us to power real fast. I don't like doing it both at the same time. Leave me alone, you dang freaking hogs. I think there's a tunnel I can use near the... Over there somewhere. Thought. That'll lead me straight to the freaking factory branch. Can't remember where it is. Let me scout real fast. I'll probably just have enough time to scout where it is and that's it. Unfortunately, I'm kind of running out of time here. I was hoping that I could get the this done this episode, but I was mistaken. Might be around the back here. I thought I was over here, though. I remember seeing the... Oh. Are you serious right, Neil? over here. Yep, right here. Okay, so we can use this to stretch that conveyor belt down. But I'll have to focus on that, that next time. Uh, just I'll have to focus on that next episode, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I'm just going to end it here because um, I'm trying to make it a bit, bit shorter to make up for that 50 minute video I uploaded a few days ago. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the goal of searching that conveyor belt down there to the hub or the factory branch number one and um, basically making enough aluminum to make the heat sinks I need to make the plutonium cells. I'm hoping um, I'll at least have to generate quite a more like have a net gain of power, but I'm really just trying to get rid of the waste, like I said. Uh, so the new, the other nuclear power plant doesn't get backed up. So, and then we can move on to making the four parts I need for phase four. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next episode where I finish up making the plutonium cells in the next nuclear power plant on the factory branch number one. So, see you guys in the next one. Peace.